the first glyphs were decoded, it was believed that all the texts were religious in nature, concerned with the passage of time and the observation of the stars. It was thought the Maya were a peaceful people, living in harmony with nature, scattered in the jungle. He recorded all the details of his explorations with great elegance. For the first time, we came to a building constructed long before the Europeans knew of the existence of this continent. for the beauty and solidity of the architecture. Here was a true palace with royal apartments surrounded by magnificent courtyards. The walls and pillars were richly ornamented with reliefs and figures so beautifully created that it was easy to see the artistic ability of the Maya people. With the aid of a camera lucida, Catherwood made many drawings. Historians say America was peopled by savages, but savages never raised these structures. Savages never carved these stones. Their accomplishments were worthy to stand beside those of Egypt, Greece, and Rome. In 1841, Stevens published his book illustrated by Catherwood and contributed important information towards the knowledge of the Maya cities. Stevens recognized the native origins of the ruins and admired the beauty of the cities. his attempt to convert the Maya to Christianity, Landa destroyed the religious possessions, burning many of the codices. In nearby caves, descendants of the ancient Maya pray to the gods they have worshipped for more than 100 generations. These paintings change many of the ideas which were held about the Maya. Never before had we seen scenes of battle, slavery, and torture painted by the Maya themselves. is three bars and four dots. 20 is one dot in a higher position with a shell for zero below. A dot above with a dot below is 21. A dot above with a bar below is 25. Two dots above means 220 or 40. A bar in the upper position means 520s, 100. 
A dot with two zeros below is 400. A dot with three zeros below is 8,000. 8,421. The Maya were great mathematicians and astronomers. They calculated the length of the solar year with an error of only 23 seconds. The cycle of Venus with a margin of error of only one day in 6,000 years. Some of the buildings of Chichen Itza were so constructed as to mark the equinox and solstices. They also knew the cycles of Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, and were able to calculate eclipses of the Sun 33 years ahead. All this was recorded in their books, unfortunately, on stone as well. In 1921, the decoding of the tablet of 96 glyphs at Palenque began. Finally, in 1990, the whole panel could be read. told the history of the royal family of Palenque, their wars and the transmission of power to young kings. Among these was Pakal, ruler of Palenque, king from the age of 12 and governing until 80. which were recorded in stone in all the Maya cities. population or some combination of factors. Whatever the cause, the culture of the ancient Maya was transformed forever. But the Maya people did not disappear. They are still present in southern Mexico, Belize and elsewhere in Central America. Much of the culture of the ancient Maya, builders of these amazing temples and cities, disappeared in the 9th and 10th centuries. Fortunately, their artistry and knowledge is still present in the life of today's Maya, who endure as a link to their majestic past. The Temple of the Warriors faces the setting zenith sun where we held ceremonies to honor the creation of our world. As we say, time travels in the footsteps of the sun, and my people followed the sun's path. Let's continue our journey through the city of Chichen Itza, where our major temples are aligned to the zenith sun and the equinox sun. This temple is called Kukulkan, or the Temple of the Feathered Serpent. Each side of the Great Pyramid has 91 steps. When we add the step on the top platform, we have 365 steps in all, the same number of days in the year.
The play of sunlight on this great pyramid celebrates the journey of the sun. It serves as a solar calendar for our people. The spring equinox marks the time for planting and awaiting the summer rain. On this day when the sun sets directly in the west, the light snakes down the grand staircase. Like the feathered serpent god, our rulers cared for the needs of our people. On the day the zenith sun reached the middle of the sky, the Maya rulers, who represented the bond between sky and earth, celebrated the beginning of our calendar. They made offerings to the gods, and the gods brought life-giving rains. For over 2,000 years, our astronomers observed the sun, moon, and planets and recorded their cyclical movements with astounding accuracy. One of the most extraordinary accomplishments of our sky watchers was their ability to predict a total solar eclipse, which can be seen from the same place, on average, only once in 370 years. To see a total solar eclipse, you have to be in exactly the right place at exactly the right time. Venus was very special to my people. It was our oracle signaling the coming of good times, of rain and abundant crops, or bad times of drought and scarcity. In order to understand these vital messages of Venus, our astronomers recorded the planet's mysterious movement across the sky. When they looked at Venus night after night, at the same time, in the same place, they could see its position changing. And over time, it seemed to be dancing in the sky. For centuries, our astronomers kept precise records of Venus in their almanacs. and they built this observatory called El Caracol. Here, our sky watchers studied Venus's ever-shifting patterns. El Caracol is carefully aligned with the motions of Venus. The grand staircase that marks the front of El Caracol faces 27.5 degrees north of west an almost perfect match for Venus's most northerly position in the sky. We now leave the magnificent city of Chichen Itza, coming forward in time to where we are today. From August 11th, 3,114 B.C. to December 21st, 2012 A.D. For my ancestors, it was a time of celebration to come to the end of a complete calendar cycle. My people see all things is bound together the earth and its people, the sun, the moon, and the stars. We are children of the stars, yet connected to the earth like the roots and branches of our great Seba tree, the tree of life. We are over seven million Maya living today, still carrying the tradition of our ancestors. 
like the cloth that my grandmother weaves, as her mothers have done for 2,000 years. Our science, art, and mythology are interwoven. The story of the hero twins becoming the sun and moon and our ancient astronomers accurately predicting the solar eclipse are examples of how we Maya integrate all of our knowledge into one beautiful tapestry that expresses the richness of our culture and guides us in our daily lives. 15,000 watt lamp filled with xenon gas. What, it's not LED yet? <laughs> Apparently not. Journey to the South Pacific, pandas. So they got multiple shows, huh? Yeah. Galapagos. Have you, did you go to the Galapagos no, Islands? I like to. 